It's this stuff. It smells, if you squish it, it smells like garlic. We're at the Seneca Rocks Discovery Center pulling garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is a non-native invasive species and it spreads a chemical that makes other plants not grow as well. An invasive species is a plant that goes into its non-native home and it just takes over. You could identify it by smelling it and you can tell by the white flowers they have four petals that shape like a cross. And if you crush the leaf it smells like garlic. We're pulling the garlic mustard because it's killing the West Virginia white butterfly because the butterfly gets mixed up with toothwort. The chemicals off the garlic mustard kills the larva. It can grow almost anywhere, mostly around rivers, plants from other countries. They can't live under trees. They have to have the sunlight. But garlic mustard under trees, under real brushy areas, out in the open. And if you can get rid of it the first year, it doesn't produce any seeds. So that's when you totally like wipe it out in that area. But if you get rid of it the second year, it produces more seeds. So you have to go back again if you want to get rid of it. European settlers brought it in for food. Well, I guess they just stuck it on a pan and cooked it like with other herbs for like their meat and stuff. Well, you can use like like weed killing spray stuff and you can also pull it out of the ground. And like every year you can come back and keep on pulling it out of the same spot. The only thing you really can do is just pull it up Make sure you get the main root out. So if you just break the this soft still on the ground, it's gonna come back. Keep it wild, West Virginia. Keep his wild, West Virginia. That the second year don't taste near as good as the first. It actually does taste pretty good though after you get used to it. Mm.